Hi, my name is Jeremy Whale and I am a technology teacher at Northampton High School and also a 2016 PBS Digital Innovator. And I wanted to take a second to show you around the PBS Learning Media website, show you how to sign up and some of the features for searching and creating some of your own content as well. So let's take a tour. So welcome to the homepage for PBS Learning Media. We can get started right away searching for various types of media, but to fully take advantage of the site, what we want to do is sign up. Again, it's free and easy. We go to login, and if you don't have an account yet, you can go to sign up, and here we type in some of our information, and we're on our way. So after you log into PBS Learning Media, you will be able to fully take advantage of some things like favorites, assignments, folders, and tools. First, we're going to find some media to use for our next assignment. My students really are into programming, but we have to start them early on things like Scratch Junior, which will teach them the ins and outs of programming. So I'm going to search for Scratch Junior, and I'm going to search third grade. I can also search by subjects. I'm going to pick science here. And the type of media. Right now I'm going to hold off on that. When I search, now I'm presented with various types of curriculum and various types of media. We have videos, we have lesson plans, and not only that, but we have a sidebar where we can start to filter things even more. I'm going to look for lesson plans. And so here we go, three lesson plans from PBS Kids on Scratch Junior. Let's take a look at space exploration. Now when we're inside of one of the pieces of media that we can use, we have a few things that we can do. We can see some of the supporting materials and what type of uh, file it is. But we can also favorite things. So if we come across something we might want to take a look at a little later, we're just going to hit that favorite button, make that heart nice and red. And in the dashboard, we can see that it shows up on that screen over there. So as we're looking, we have a lesson summary, time allotments, learning objectives in a lesson plan. Uh, and it also tells you your activities. Also important is to know what supplies we need. So under supplies, you can see that there's a design handout here. If we click that design handout, we'll be able to see that sheet that the students will need. We'll also be able to see the educational standards that this piece of media satisfies. And we'll also be able to click that piece of media to download it. Some pieces of media you can also find and download directly from the website. Okay, so we have our lesson plan. We're ready to go. We have our handout all printed and downloaded. How do we get it to our students? Well, there's a couple of ways that we can do that. If you're using Google Classroom, if you're a Google Apps for Education district, in one click, we can actually assign this to one of our classes. If you're a registered user, you can also quick assign certain pieces of media to your classes with a quick URL and code. Now that we have all of our pieces of media set, we want to organize everything. And that's where the dashboard comes into play. Under the main dashboard, we can do a bunch of different things. First, let's look at how to organize. If we go to folders, under folders, we can see that the creation of a folder will allow us to put different pieces of media inside of that folder. Once we create a folder, we can go to our favorites and add the pieces of media to the specific folder that we made. In addition to organization, you can also create your own assessments and content on the site. Lesson Builder will allow you to 
create comprehensive slideshows using the media on PBS's site. Once you're done with your lesson, you want to see how much the students comprehend. That's where Quizmaker comes into play. Quizmaker allows you to create quick quizzes to assess student progress. You can also create storyboards and puzzles for additional added experiences for learning. So I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions at all, you can always email me at jeremywhelan at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.